welcome and accounts here for British Monroe. Today we're going to create this gnome and tea inspired card. Let's go over the products I use. I use Tea Party, which is a 42 piece set, and it consists of building gnomes. It has like several pieces to layer and create your own gnomes. It'll have several noses, mouths, hairstyles, beards, uh, clothing, two types of arms, you know, more thin, more thick. You have several cups, a saucer, two teapots and little decorations to decorate your teapots and your cups. You have sentiments like you're terrific, you'd be the best gnomes no matter what, you're my cup of tea which we'll be using today, and tea for two. You also have different hairstyles for a little young uh, girl gnome, we'll be using the long braids. Along with this we'll be using the tea party uh, paper collection. Uh, I've already cut my uh, pattern paper here, but I'll give you a quick thumb through. Uh, these are double sided pattern papers. They have like plaids and zigzags, and all of them have these cute little hearts throughout. So it goes cute and perfect with our Valentine's kind of theme, but not quite Valentine. You see, you can use it for more than one thing. All right, so here is our little gnome if i went ahead and stamped and colored and cut her out and i have her all set here's my layering cardstock in this light blue and the pattern paper i kept that little edge for that one there to place under our sentiment and i have a few blue pearls and hearts for our finishing touches i colored my gnome with some copics i'll have those listed for you below in the description box and our card base is Not Your Mama's Card Stock, which is available in the, car, in the shop. And I will have that, of course, linked in the description below. So here are all of our little pieces cut and colored for our little Nomi. And here's her hair. I, use, I went for the long braids. And I used the colors in the pattern paper to inspire how to color her and her little teacup. So let's go ahead and adhere her together. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of her head here and place it onto her little neck area. I already stamped her mouth and nose and I have those on her face already ahead of time. Like I said, there's a variety of mouths here with fuller lips, thinner lips, closed mouths, showing teeth. You have uh, three shapes of noses, bigger, medium, and a long, and a like, oval nose really cute all right so now I'm gonna decide which arms gonna hold our tea uh, cup and which one's gonna hold our saucer I'm gonna have her just holding it like she's gonna have a little drink so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the little hand to the saucer it's easier to hear them this way they are little pieces sorry I'm off screen a bit here all I'm doing is placing a little dot of glue adhering the hand and then it's easier to adhere the arm onto our little gnome this way and the saucer. So our saucer and arm will be adhered directly down onto our gnome. Our cup, I'm going to use a little foam dot to give it a little um, lift. So I'm going to put her little hand here. I'm kind of curl her thumbs a little bit just so that I, it looks like she's actually gripping. It's not necessary, but I like to have that finished look going to put a little adhesive on the top of where her shoulder would be. Get my little foam dot. I thought I had it on to the side. Sorry about that. Grab it. Place that on the back of my teacup. And now I can place it on here. Just getting it where I need it to be. Anything extra, just, just so I can get that cup to line up with my saucer a bit. I'm going to have my shoulder just off a bit. That's okay. I'm just going to fuss a bit here. And whatever I do have, I'm just going to overlap and adhere to the back. No one will see it. Or you can cut it off. No one will see it because her hair will be covering that part up. So I'm just going to fuss a bit. Try to get that nice and even where I need it. There we go. Put a little adhesive. Press it into place. Give it a sec. And now we can adhere her little braids. So I put a little glue on her head, on the side of her head there, place her braid down, do the same thing on the other side. It's easier for me to place it on the bigger object and then place the smaller object on top of it, whichever works for you. 
I just know that I kept fumbling and dropping things, so I figured this was the easier bet. All right, so her hat, I wanted to go way down, almost touching her nose. Well, basically, I have it touching the top of her nose. I don't, because most gnomes have their hats pulled all the way down. You don't see their eyes. It's the cutest thing, but that also helps, you know, gather everything down and her hair tucked in nicely. For her feet, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere her shoes to the bottom of her little legs there. Then I'll adhere the bottom of her leggings to the bottom of the skirt. Get that. You can pull it down further if you want a shorter gnome. I want her to be, a, you know, mid-height like myself. <laughs> okay, so now our gnome is complete. I'm going to adhere some foam dots to the back of this here because I want her to be raised off our card. I don't have a lot of dimension on this card, just her and the sentiment. And I'm using very low um, profile foam tabs here. I don't have the real thick ones. These are like medium or low so that you have some height but not a lot so it's easy to mail. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place the foam adhesive all over the back here, even her little feet because I don't want the feet to buckle under here. Okay, so I'm going to set her to the side really quickly. Now I'm going to grab our sentiment and I'm going to trim this down because I did, did this on a little scrap of Not Your Mama's cardstock. <clears throat> Any little scraps I have of that I keep for this certain thing for stamping little sentiments and such. I'm going to trim it down once I have it how I want it. I'm going to adhere this onto a scrap of our um, pattern paper. <clears throat> so I'm going to trim this a little bit more off. Alright, so when I die cut my scallop panel, the blue panel, I did use that same die and it's for my stash to die cut my pattern paper. So I ended up with all these little scallops which I trimmed off my pattern paper because I wanted the blue scallops to show through. I saved them, one for the inside of the card and one for the bottom of my sentiment. Just to bring that scallop uh, of pattern paper inside of, you know, to the bottom of our sentiment. Just to bring that scallop throughout the card. Alright, so now once I have that, I'm putting some foam adhesive on the back of that. I'm sorry I'm off screen. I didn't realize I was. Um, on, I have a monitor that I film that I, that I use for filming and on my monitor I was on screen. But when I'm editing now, I realize I'm not on screen. Okay, so now I'm going to remove all of the backing of my foam tabs from my gnome here. I've already done that for my sentiment and I'll have them set to the side. So when we start adhering everything together, it'll go quickly. I'm going to remove this last little tab here and then I will set her to the side ready to go. So now we're going to bring in some more of our liquid adhesive and I'm going to adhere this pattern paper. That means, again, this is from our Tea Party collection. And this is easy to line up because all the lines are there. It's cut when using the same die. So it's easy to follow the little dashed lines and line it up. I'm going to adhere this onto our card base. And this card came together pretty quickly. Um, the colors for my coloring of the gnome were inspired by the pattern paper itself. You can see the blues of her hat and her leggings are the blues in the pattern paper. Her teacup is yellow and she's wearing pink, like the pink hearts. It's a it's an easy way to um, pull colors so everything coordinates. Alright, so I get my sentiment on there. I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in some blue pearls and a pink heart just to decorate our little, um, little gnome here and our card. On her teacup, instead of coloring it like I've been coloring up, not coloring, stamping any of those little images that came on the stamps, I went ahead and adhered a pale yellow um, heart on her teacup. And now I'm going to add all the rest of our little embellishments. And now our card is complete. So here's everything right there for our card. 
and a little gnome. I did add little highlights with um, a gel pen on her shoes and her hat. You can't quite see it here on the camera, I guess. It doesn't quite show, but it's there. You might see it in the stills. All right, so we use our Key Party 6x6 paper collection here for our background. And we use the Tea Party stamp set. We use our gnome and our little teacup here, as well as our sentiment for our card today. <clears throat> and I have, again, everything coordinating with the pattern paper, making it so easy. Let it inspire you. Sometimes it does. The pattern paper will inspire me just to create. So I will have everything listed and linked for in the description box for you below. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration.